meetings on our band. And more on today's version of Hot Dog News. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm sure you miss seeing our faces as much as I miss giving you the news. I'm Lathan. And I'm Abby. There will be a short meeting after school today for any students who have an interest in the speech team. Meet in Mr. Hammond's classroom, room 145. There will be a brief meeting today after fifth period in room 100 for any, anyone wanting to play baseball this spring. See Coach Dudley with any questions. Shooting Star Awards is today, Thursday the 21st, after the long-awaited reschedule. It will begin at 1.30 p.m. For lunch today, we've been blessed with our Thanksgiving meal. I normally go out for lunch, but you can bet I'll be the first one in line. A happy birthday goes out to Shayla Brock and Arelli Mendieta Santos. Now to weather and sports. Today we walked in with a bit of rain, but nothing too major. Today we will be having a high of 52 and a low of 33 with a chance of rain. That's all for weather now to sports with Bain. Thanks, Julia. For wrestling, there will be a junior varsity match away today at Lafayette Jeff at 6. Make sure to support your hot dogs. For bowling, Frankfurt Hot Dogs just finished 5th this week and the girls are 4-1 and one in our second place on the season. They just played on Sunday and they had Seville and top bowlers were Hannah Anderson 155 and 153, uh, Carissa Pittman 147. There will be a girls swimming match away at Lafayette Jefferson. Make sure to support your lady hot dogs. For girls basketball team played Tuesday night and lost to North Montgomery in their first conference game and they play next at Sheridan High School. Make sure to support your lady hot dogs. That's it for sports, now back to your studio. Attention all future teachers. There are a couple of scholarships available and ready for applying for anyone wanting to pursue education. The Next Generation Hoosier Educator Scholarship provides up to $7,500 each year of college for students pursuing a degree in education. To qualify, students must rank in the top 20% of their graduating class or have a top 20% ACT or SAT score. The deadline is approaching fast as applications are due November 30th. If you are interested in applying, check the link in the chatter. Along with that, applications for the Clinton County Retired Teacher Scholarship are now available in student services. This $500 scholarship is awarded to one senior pursuing a degree in education. Applications aren't due until March, so you have some time. Hannah McKinney, a senior nursing student at Purdue, completing her fourth and final clinical day with Nurse Harshman. While Hannah's mother is her nursing role model, she never thought that she would want to follow in her footsteps, but soon realized that she was cut from the same cloth. Hannah has enjoyed attending Purdue and highly recommends taking advantage of the internships that are offered. She interned with Eskenazi Hospital Emergency Department. Hannah hopes to begin her career as an RN at Eskenazi. Nurse Harshman truly enjoyed working with Hannah and wishes her the best as she begins her career as a nurse. Finally, good luck to Gabby Reyes, Caitlin Douglas, Michelle Garza, Cassandra Lopez Carrillo, and Olivia Ramos as they perform in the All District Honor Band on Sunday at 4 o'clock at Rossville High School. And with that, we'll wrap things up. Come back again tomorrow for more hot dog happenings. And remember, you don't mess with the Zohan.